All right, so here we go. If we're looking here at uh, our, our place value, all right, we let's put place value down. This would be a meter. It's in the ones place. And this is if we're, we're measuring in, in meters, I guess you could say. But this is the ones place, or this would be a meter. This right here would be decimeter, okay, which we're not going to really ever use. That would make this the hundredth position, which is going to be our centimeter. And maybe you're following along with me because this next position is going to be your millimeter. All right. So those are all your places that you're going to be using when measuring in meters or centimeters. And really the only difference between measuring in meters and centimeters is where you put the decimal. All right, so if you're measuring in meters, the decimal will go right after the meters. If you're measuring in centimeters, it goes right after the centimeter. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of measurement. I've got this line right here, and you can see the little gold dot. That's so I can get really specific. There's a gold dot there and a gold dot right here, and I'm going to measure the distance. So I can tell you right now, it's, it's under a meter, right? It's not going to be that far of a distance. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so let's go ahead and line this up. So I line that up with the end at the zero marker, and then I move up my meter stick, just like that. Now, notice how I hold down on the end. If you don't do that, you're going to run into some problems because a lot of students, they'll line up the zero marker really well like this. Okay, it's right on it. And then when they bring it up, they pivot it up. They move the meter stick to the left or the right, and it's no longer lined up with the original dot or original end of the line. So I like to put my thumb on it, keep it in place so it doesn't move, and then pivot my meter stick up, just like a basketball player pivots. And then I go back to the origin or the beginning, and I double check to make sure I'm lined up on it. Okay, that's great. Looking good. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my pen or pencil, in this case my pen, and I'm going to look carefully at where this lines up. And if I look here, whoops, moved it again, got to go back and check it. If I look carefully, it's after the 13, but not by much. Okay, that's lined up again. Oh, man, this is moving a lot. Okay, let me move my hand over here and try this. There we go. So that's lined up. And I will admit, this may not look like it's perfectly lined up to you, but I'm looking straight down at this, okay, which the camera can't do, and my camera won't make it over there to get a straight view. So looking over here at this, I'm at 13, and I'm a little past the 13. It looks like by one, by two. So I'm just two little marks past it. So I'm 13 centimeters and two millimeters. How do I write that? Well, this is what we do. We go down here and we take a look at this. If I'm 13 um, centimeters, then I'm 13 full centimeters. Let me get a marker that works. I'm 13 centimeters. And I'm two millimeters. In meter views, I haven't done a full meter, so I have no full meters. I have 13 centimeters and two millimeters. Now you're probably wondering, well, hey, what about that decimeter there? Well, this still makes sense because a decimeter would be right here. So I do have one decimeter, three more centimeters, and two millimeters. So one decimeter, three cent centimeters, two millimeters. Okay, so it could be looked at as 13 centimeters or a decimeter, three centimeters. Either way works fine. The point is you're going to have 0.132. All right. Now, if I wanted to change this so that instead of writing it, if I was going to write that out on a paper, I'd put my zero, I'd put my three, two, and I'd put meters because I'm measuring that in meters. If I want to change this into centimeters, all I have to do is hop that decimal over two spots. So in centimeters, it would just be 13.2. And I just moved the decimal over twice. Either one of these is perfectly accurate, and it means the exact same distance, this distance here. Okay, so... Let's take a look at how we would measure something that is longer than a meter, because that can get a little bit tricky.
Now we're going to learn how to measure something that's longer than a meter. So down this way, the tape actually goes farther, and it goes off the screen. And I couldn't get my iPad up tall enough to show you the whole line, but it's definitely longer than a meter. I'm going to take my meter stick, uh, I'm going to be looking for that zero marker, and line it up with the little gold dot down at this end. Okay, I found it. I uh, put my finger on that area. I'm bringing it up to the black line like this. I'm rechecking to make sure zero is on the gold dot. Double check, you know, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> and now I've got a problem because I've got to mark this area. And it's fine if you have a pencil to do this, but sometimes whatever you're, you're measuring, you don't want to mark it up. So I'm going to show you a technique and one I like to use in class. That's taking a post-it note, and you can just cut a little strip on that post-it note. So now you have a little strip of a post-it note, and it's sticky on one side, right? So now I'm going to go and take a ruler, and I'm going to draw a straight line. And I'm going to make that straight line be my marking point. You can even draw an arrow if that makes it easier. There's my marking point, okay? Now I'm going to line this up. Excuse me, I'm going to get in the camera's view while I line it up. So that it's lined up with the zero of the meter stick, what we would call the 100. So that's my 100 centimeter line. So I've got that lined up with it. Now I can move this, right, and go down here, line it up with zero again. Now the zero is lined up with that line. And now I go to my gold dot, which from this standpoint, if I'm looking at this, it looks like that is going to be 10, 11, 11.9, 11 11.8, 11 11.8. So it's 11.8 centimeters past the meter. So I've got one whole meter, which is the same as 100 centimeters, and 11.8 more centimeters. So on the next slide, I will talk to you about how we write that down, how we can write it as meters and centimeters by moving that decimal. Uh, we'll take a closer look at Let's it. Take a look at how we would write this down. If we wanted to write in meters, we'd put the decimal point behind the meter position. This would read 1 meter and 118 millimeters, or 1.118 meters. Um, now if we wanted to turn it into centimeters, we'd just take that decimal point and move it behind the centimeters. If you're wondering why I skipped that next position, it's decimeters, and we just don't measure using decimeters. So now it immediately becomes centimeters, and it reads a little differently. Instead of 1.118 meters, we're now reading 111.8 centimeters. So 111 centimeters, which makes sense because there's 100 centimeters in a meter plus 11 more. Now, if we want to get crazy and know the millimeters, we just take that decimal and move it over behind the 8. And now we have 1,118 millimeters. So moving that decimal doesn't change the length. All it does is change the unit that we're looking at. Uh, millimeters being the smallest unit. We jump over here to centimeters, a little bit bigger. And then the biggest one, meters. And it's all how you read it.